The heat is overwhelming. Hippos can't sweat. But they do secrete a thick, oily, reddish fluid. This acts as a sunscreen. But he still needs to drink. Water holes are dangerous traps for thirsty enemies. This one is staked out by lions. He's dying of thirst, but he stands firm. With a deft and agile maneuver, the hippopotamus deftly evaded the lion's predatory onslaught. At night, their hunger for a meal driving them forward. As they spotted the same hippo, they saw their chance and lunged forward with fierce determination. But the hippo was not an easy prey. With one strike, he could crush a lion's skull. The lions attacked fiercely, clawing, scratching, and biting in an attempt to inflict enough cuts to bring the hippo down. Despite the lion's best efforts, the hippo finally managed to escape, his strength and determination keeping him alive. In a few hours, it'll be morning. The hippo from last night's lion attack is still not back in the river. It escaped the lions, but is badly injured. The lioness's teeth and claws have done serious damage. Oxpeckers are ordinarily so useful, and the removal of blood-sucking parasites are actually vampires. Now, they feed directly on the hippo's blood. It needs to get to deep water soon. As midday approaches and the temperatures rise, the hippo's chances fall. Just feet from the water's edge, the hippo can go no further. Having parasites removed does the hippos a favor. But oxpeckers don't stop there. They intentionally keep wounds open, feeding on living flesh. <laughs> 